I bought a bumper from my Civic that no one ever buys. Oh, I did this so you don't have to. But the Civic is completely broken. Not only the Civic has been leaking oil, but this bumper is completely done. Cracks right here, a crack right there. It's supposed to be like a little pointy thing in this area right here, but it's completely snapped off. The same with the other side, if you could see right here. I had to put metal brackets in here just to keep the bumper onto the car. Multiple cracks right here. The biggest part of it all is that the lip it's just super messed up. I need something to look a little bit new. Oh god, that's not good. That's fiberglass. I've always wanted a j block bumper for the longest time. Real ones were made out of fiberglass. There was no point in going something legit other than fitment issues, which I haven't tested yet. There's a couple scratches here that is pretty Typical, nothing too crazy. That could be sanded and uh, repainted. This is all one piece. The grill is attached together, it's not coming off, and the lip is also molded together as well. Oh my god. What the f This thing is cracking right here, and it has two, I guess, dime size cracks right here for sure. For me, paying $400 rather than $1,400 is pretty shocking um, for how cheap this was. Now the true test is to actually put this on the car. It's kind of the little backing for it. As you can see, they've probably molded it somehow. It has like this mesh that you could take off um, to paint it black if you wanted to. Yeah, everything is just rock solid. It can't flex at all. And if I do, I probably would break it. <laughs> Now I put the two bumpers in between just to compare them and as you can see, it just looks slightly different. I wanted to gamble my luck because I saw on the internet that it looked like it was polyurethane, but I guess now I finally showed up. It definitely is not polyurethane. Should have known from that from the start, but uh, now I guess we'll just try to fit this thing up and see if it actually fits. Okay, so we have one major problem and it's kind of a bummer. This whole crash bar right here is hitting the back of this grill, which is this piece right here. And because it's hitting it, I can't put on the bumper very flushly. Man. All right guys, so it's the next day. I've actually did a little bit of research on the hatch. I did not realize that if you look up every video, every forum that is related to a J blood bumper, they don't run no crash bar because I guess the way how the J blood bumper is made, either one, I gotta trim the bumper, or two, just run no crash bar, and that's pretty unsafe. But just for research purposes, we are gonna take off the crash bar just for the looks and for this video. So I got the crash bar out. This is literally what's gonna save me during a crash, but we're taking it off anyway, so. <laughs> I got it to somewhat fit without drilling the holes. And if I drill any holes, I won't be able to return it back. So right here, here is the bumper. Um, obviously this would sit in a lot more flush. Oh shit. Like I said, there's nothing holding this bumper on. So I literally had to put one of my oil jugs right here just to keep this bumper and hold. It is what I paid for. I did buy it for a cheaper price than AJ Blood. Uh, hoping to get a cheaper price than a $1,400 bumper compared to a $400 bumper. That is unfortunate um, and that's how it sits. Yeah, I wish... Yeah. <laughs> As you guys know, plastic bumpers last way longer than fiberglass does. And then, yeah. Oh God. Please don't do this. I took one for the team. I did this so you don't have to.